Okay, hi Year 12s, this is Mr. Lim here again, and this is our video about how you produce soaps. You'll be making a soap eventually as well, so fun, fun, fun. Okay, so we're going to learn how we make soaps. So, soaps are formed from fats and oils. And if you remember, a soap particle has a polar head and a non-polar tail. Okay, remember this polar tail is a long carbon chain doing its thing. Okay, long being 10 to 12 carbons long. And on this end is a carboxylate group, right, which can create the ligands with the water molecules around it. Okay, so how do I get those? Fats and oils are triglycerides, which are triesters. Okay, so what does that mean? Triester means it has three ester groups. Three ester groups okay so these three long chains of hydrocarbons are connected to each other by uh, ester groups to a short carbon chain so here's the short carbon chain oops that's a terrible line there's the short carbon chain and then the long polar tail non-polar tails are over here the long non-polar tails are over there and so that whole thing there is a fat or an oil, okay? It's a triester or triglyceride, okay? Uh, there's my diagram, okay? Uh, the triglyceride is split by heating it in the presence of a strong base such as sodium or potassium hydroxide. So let's go through. Here's my three long tails. Here are my three carbox uh, ester groups because they're not carboxylate groups yet because they haven't been broken away from that carbon, that short carbon chain that's holding them all together. Okay, so in the presence of a strong base such as sodium potassium hydroxide, this bond here gets broken. All right, so there's broken there. All right, and those uh, hydroxide groups from the thing, they form over here, they form over here, they form over here, okay, right? Uh, and there, so therefore this part here floats away, and this is called glycerol, okay? It's a triol, propan one, two, three ol, um, triol, and then we have three color should we use three soap particles present okay one two and three okay so if your triester is identical in the three long arms they're going to produce three identical soap particles but if they're not identical they're going to form three different soap particles and then remember that this is a charged n there uh where is the positive charge because you have to always have a positive charge it's in that sodium which was bonded to the uh oh minus which broke up that um ester okay so it's sodium hydroxide or potassium hydroxide okay so you'll end up with these ones with a sodium ion on the end okay so um, forms three soap molecules and one glycerol uh, molecule which is a triol um, and the equation for saponification okay so uh, so it depends like there's quite a number of ways to write this out but generally you'll see like a long carbon chain here do, 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 do. Uh, going to an ester uh, and then they'll usually draw these out like so in the question it'll show it being drawn out or it'll show um, what those atoms are uh, and do, 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 and it's your last carbon right with these plus some sodium hydroxide we'll make glycerol which is your CH3, oh, sorry, CH2 OH, CH OH, CH2 OH, and three of those molecules. And so, like, depending if they're identical, they're going to be um, uh, three of the same thing, or if they're non identical, then they're going to be like however many of however many of those things. Okay. And you've got the sodium there as well. Okay. So that's the equation um, that you get from that. And then you also should have three of those sodiums there. Okay. So 
the solution of soap molecules, glycerol and cations, is then treated with more cations to form uh, a neutral salt such as sodium or potassium chloride. Okay, so what happens is that in that mixture now, you have soap particles and lots of them, you have sodium ions and lots of them, right? You have excess base ions from the sodium hydroxide and you have glycerol molecules, which is your propantriol. Okay, all we want is the soap particles. So what we do is we add a whole bunch of sodium chloride. And so now you have more sodium ions and chloride ions, which are essentially harmless. All right. And then uh, these will combine to form a solid uh, substance. Okay, so the soaps will form solids with these NAs, right? And then you can filter out those. But then you have to rinse it because which one of those things over there is uh, dangerous? The base. Okay, so you keep on rinsing it with a little bit of water and all the OH minuses go as well. Right. Um, the excess cations will be precipitated to the soap molecules. That's the excess cations of the sodium ions. Form an ionic so solid of cations and soap molecules, whereas everything else gets rinsed and reused somewhere else. The ionic solid soap is then rinsed. Yep, to get rid of no more strong bases left on the surface of the soap. This removes the base and the glycerol, which can be used in other processes and therefore not waste everything. Okay, and that's how you produce soaps from your fats and oils.